Hi there, it's um, Shirley Young here from Handmade by Shirley. Uh, I'm just going to construct a card quickly. Um, I come on and I had done what is called a one sheet wonder. So I'd made it, made, let's get these out of the way, I kind of made it into a wreath shape. And I've been kind of mucking around with it since. Probably won't get the wreath shape back right. Perhaps that was how it went. I think that's how it went. And then I had this was oh I don't know. Anyway, I did this kind of wreath shape. Um one sheet wonder. That's not quite right. I think that one should be over there. One sheet wonder, yep. And then I cut it, I just did it on an E4 because I didn't have any uh, a 12 by 12 sheet. And as you can see, I um, just did some florals, some splodges, dotage, whatever you want to call it. Um, I used various nice pastel shades. Um, and then I did added some butterflies to some of it and um, some other bits and bobs. So now I'm going to make it into a card because now I've done it into four pieces. So the piece I'm going to use, I think, was that one. Yep, I'll use the others as a card too. So this measures, I'm not entirely sure, bear with me. Just while I get my... Um, so this card base measures 14.7 uh, centimeters by 10.5 centimeters so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop I've got a, a circle that I've punched out which is a Two and a quarter inch circle and I've got some nice gold foliage, uh, leaf foliage as well to use that I've also um, taken from this and I've got a few other little sprigs that I've cut out in a darker green and a sort of lighter green colour and then I'm going to just stamp a little sentiment on, stick that on and pop it to that side. So I'm going to use various inks, these are stamping up inks um, and I just, just want to get a wee edge on that circle so I'm just going to run it a little bit over the ink pad just so you can see it, it gives a little bit of a, takes the sharpness away from the white and just gives that a little bit of an edge. I'm also going to do that on here. I'm going to just drag my um, ink pad all the way around just so that that will give it a little bit of definition. It'll take away from the starkness of the white. And I'm not bothered that I've kind of got more ink over some bits than the other doesn't really matter. I know I've just got a big blob there so I'm going to have to try and hide that somehow now. So I was I was actually going to put that there but I could cover it over a little bit and I've got a splodge there as well. Mm. Oh dear. Right anyway no worries. So I'm just going to pop some of these leaves over the top. I can do that there and that'll hide that splodge. And then I'm going to take this bit and I'm going to do the same here just to show you what we can do. So we can pop another kind of bit in there as well. Um, I have got a few bits there but that's okay. I'm not too bothered about that. And then this part maybe down there and that's what I'm looking to do but first of all I want to stamp something 
onto um, the circle. So I'm going to go with the colour Seaside Spray, which is a very pale blue. And I'm going to use um, a stamping up set from called Beauty Abounds. And I'm going to write, uh, I'm going to do A Friend is Someone Who Chooses You. Okay, so I need to find the right one. Stick it on to the block. I'm just thinking, is that going to fit? Yes, it is. So I'll just ink it up like so. I'll just take this off from there. And then I'll just move that all up so you can see what I'm actually doing. Like so. And there we go. And you can see that's quite pale. Um, I've also got a couple of little butterflies I could add to that just to fill up the um, space so just do that so I've got one little butterfly there and another one coming off there and I think we'll just do another one there and that will do I'll just wipe off my Stamps. Right, so I'm going to get some wet glue next and I'm going to start sticking these leaves on. Now I know we've got some bits of, um, bits of a mess here but I'll manage to somehow cover them up I'm sure. So I'm using a uh, high tack glue purpose glue which I like and I find it's good so I'm just going to put a few wee drops on it just there where we were going to have them so I'm just going to hold it down with my that's probably a little too much glue not to worry um, and I'm just going to put another this is a darker green colour down here over here at this side. Um, now there's a few wee bits here that need to be cut off so I'll just use my wee scissors just to cut these bits off. Okay, I think I'm going down onto my card. It's sticking. It's fine. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of that leaf. You don't want to necessarily having all the leaves sticking down, you want to have some that are a bit free. So that can go there. And then we're going to have some more leaves up here. Just want to check that's going to be right. I don't want it to be too far, push it down slightly. And then we've got a little bit of this leaf, so this will kind of hide that blue mark there. So we're just going to pop in a few wee bits and pieces. We don't want it all, as they all stuck down. You know, it doesn't have to be, it can be left free. And just make sure that's kind of stuck how you want it and then I've got another little bit here which we can just pop in as well oh, and cut um, just cut another little bit off um, sprig punch because I think we need another little bit of dark green. We'll just cut that here. Like so. And we'll just pop that onto there as well. Just like that. 
here. Yep. And then we can pop our little sentiment. You can either have it flat or you can have it raised up on some double-sided foam. I'm going to raise mine up with some of these little foam pads. Just gives it a little bit more dimension than one's not working. Um, then if it's flat. Dimension just means it gives it height um, and makes it look a bit more I do usually have bigger ones of these, but I have run out at the minute, so I'm just using what I've got. So we will just take all the wee doubles, so they're double sided um, foam, and as I say they help this to become 3D. So all of these products I've used in this is Stamping Up products. Um, I am a hobby Stamping Up demo. If you wanted to buy any of these products, you could by going to stampingup.com or you could message me and I can order them for you. But I don't have a web page or anything because I'm not actually a demonstrator who's selling products. So I've got a little blending brush here and I'm just going to see if I can blend a little bit of this smudging, which I might be able to, with some very pale blue seaside spray so I'm popping it onto the brush and I'm just coming in in circular movements all the way around and that would just kind of maybe hide that a little bit more move that away so we can get into the corner without breaking um, that piece and then we can come down to this corner and do the same. It just just blends things in a bit better. I don't want it too dark, so um, just wanted to see if I could blend that in a little bit more. Oh, I should have done this before I stuck these down, which is a bit daft of me. Don't mind. I've done it now. Stick that down. Lift these up slightly as well. And there we go, that's a bit better. So, all we need to do now is to put a couple of gems on. I've got some gems here. That I can pop on because I've got a few smudges on um, that piece where the uh, what you call it the sentiment is as you'll see there's a wee, wee bit there so I'm just going to add some nice little green gems that I've got I'm going to add these ones I'm just going to add the smaller of them I'm going to pop that one there, and I might uh, I got another one. I'll pop one here, and I think I'll just leave. It's usually three we do put on, but I'm not sure. I think I'll just leave it with the two. So now I'm going to find a piece of. Um, card to pop this one to if you're with me and I'll get some card I'm going to pop it onto some coloured card and this 
just going to fill this piece of green in here. And then I'm going to burnish it with my Turn it over. I'm going to bring this up so you can see a bit better. So I now need to make my card fit onto this. So it's only going to have a tiny little, if I do it that way, I could do it this way, which would be better. So that's fine. So I'm just going to trim that off with my trimmer out of camera shot. I've got here. Yeah, I still need to just trimming it off by camera show and stick it together. And then that will be us finished. So I'm going to pop it onto that green because I think it kind of makes it pop. But just before I do that, I'm going to distress this sort of edges as well with um, paper. So what I do there is I open the scissors and I just kind of go along there. Kind of, you, you see it will become kind of raggedy, make it a raggedy effect. So, that's just another technique to make it kind of look a bit aged if you want to. Okay, so we've now got our base. We can pop this on. There is an also another technique you can use where you curl the corner of your bit of paper as well to give it a kind of um, aged look too, which I could show you. So you would curl it around your pen or something. Like that, and then you can just kind of pop it down like that as well. So I think that's what we'll do. So we'll put some glue on the back, and then our card will be finished. And I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share. Um, and then watch out for the next video. There'll be more coming soon. So I'm just going to lay that on here. Try and get it as simple as I can. And if you can, you can email me. I'll leave the links down below. And also other links for Pinterest and Instagram. Okay, so that's my finished card. I hope you've enjoyed as I see watching. Please leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Many thanks. Be back soon. Bye.